Welcome to my channel where I provide my own personal bucket list. On today's video we are going to look into some of Wallace Chan magnificent collection. Wallace Chan sculpts with the delicacy of touch that defies boundaries and uses light as the light motif for his colorful, sensual jewels. His creations reflect his Zen philosophy and reveal unique craftsmanship invented by his persistence in innovation. They are feather-like jewels carrying messages of the past to become the heritage of the future. Tenth on the list is the Wallace Chan Porcelain Collection. A dream within a dream transformable necklace made with a 96.71 carat emerald, a 74.35 carat bear shaped aquamarine, South Sea pearls, rubellite, emeralds, pink sapphires, green tourlines, amethyst, diamonds, titanium, and the Wallace Chan Porcelain. The new generation ring showcases the fluid and organic yet highly resilient nature of Wallace Chan porcelain, a material that took the Chinese jewelry genius and innovator seven years to create. Here the porcelain combines seamlessly with titanium, sapphires, aquamarines and diamonds. The Eye of Time pendant made with a 1.06 carat yellow diamond with sapphires, diamonds, 18k white gold, magnifying lens, titanium and the Wallace Chan porcelain. The magnifying lens allows people to view minute treasures we did not know existed. According to Chan, porcelain has the potential to be innovative, to become the carrier of my ideas, he said. I did not dare to use traditional porcelain because it would break if you set an important stone with it so that's why I wanted to create innovative porcelain to meet my needs to create major jewelry pieces. The shapeshifter pendant, the porcelain spoon that was inspiration behind Chan's unbreakable porcelain. Another piece with astonishing beauty. A pink porcelain ring featuring a large red spine with diamonds. A blue porcelain ring in an openwork dome design reveals a bluish opal topped with a round diamond and four pink sapphires. Wallace Chan double starring, with a 6.39 carat fancy colored diamonds, a 38.9 carat aquamarine, and a 1.48 bear shaped pink sapphire, could light up the night with its radiant. Wallace Chan values traditional jewelry making techniques, traditional Western art, traditional Chinese culture as well as 21st century technology. Next on the list is the Titanium and Diamond Collection. Birth and Blossom Emerald Earrings. Featuring two 30.88 carat emerald drops. 30 carats of pearls, embellished with yellow diamonds, pink sapphires and conch shells, titanium structure. Such an amazing and brilliant earrings that brings life to its wearer. Beauteous Day's Sapphire Ring in Titanium. Wallace Chan weaves together craftsmanship and creativity, central stone 33.99 carat sapphire representing the night sky, eight savorites set under sapphire, blue titanium lightweight structure, diamonds and sapphires depict fireworks, ring shoulders in form of Chinese brackets used in traditional architecture. The waves can be configured in eight ways, into brooches, a bracelet, a necklace and pendants. And the central element is discreet enough, the design unnoted, to use as a tie pin. An accompanying titanium sortua, set with minuscule savorites, can also double as a bracelet. The Wallace Chan My Dreams ring made its debut at FF and once again proves that Chen is a poet in gems. The My Dreams ring is a cubist architectural construction that is, in many ways, larger than life. It features an epic 11.56 carat tallin and a 9.93 carat aquamarine as its central gemstones. Wallace Chan's mastery of working with titanium is shown in this heart in bloom brooch with lifelike exquisitely colored titanium petals. Eighth on the list is the butterfly collection. 
Ride the Waves, a butterfly-shaped creation of amethysts and savorite garnets, can be configured eight ways, into brooches, a bracelet, a necklace and pendants. Butterfly Nebula brooch set with yellow diamonds, diamonds, savorite garnets, pink sapphires, amethysts, rubies and titanium. Handcrafted to showcase its simplicity and beauty. This magnificent brooch handmade by Wallens Chan composed of tanzanite, diamond, fancy sapphire, green garnet. It is an example of excellence in fine jewel craftsmanship. Seventh on the list is the Sculpture Collection. Lotus Children is a 2 meters sculpture made of iridescent titanium set upon a glass plinth. The pistil of the flower is a large multifaceted citrine. Surrounding this sculpture are four rotating figurines. These children symbolize the four seasons. Like so many of Chan's creations, this brooch conflates the boundary between the fragility of the natural world and the durability of man-made materials and precious stones and metal. The giant peony called, Rise in Heart, is decorated with a million different jewels, and the king of flowers and a symbol of love, feminine beauty, riches and honor. The pistil alone is encrusted with a few thousand pieces of rubies, citrines and amethysts, and butterflies spring from the titanium petals in the most glorious spectacle of color. Wallace Chan her splendid smile ring featuring a 5.80 CT sapphire, rubies, emeralds, fancy colored diamonds, yellow and white diamonds and pink sapphires. Sixth on the list is the Sigada brooch. Jewelry artist Wallace Chan conveys his Chinese heritage and Zen philosophy in one-off such as this Sigada brooch. The striking creature of titanium and imperial jade, part of a sculpture Chan calls stilled life, bears wafer-thin wings that allow light to pass through the stone. The effect is ethereal, as though the insect might fly from its bejeweled bamboo leaf, which is dewy with diamonds, sapphires, and savorite garnets. Since ancient times, Chinese culture has revered the cicada as a symbol of purity, nobility, and rebirth, and regarded jade as a healer. Some Chinese people will even place a carved jade cicada figure in the mouth of the deceased to help them reincarnate more quickly, says Chan. Fifth on the list is the carving collection. This eerie piece of jewelry appears to contain a human face. It is inspired by her, the many-faced Greek goddess of the seasons. It is just one of a series of such pieces created by the Chinese artist Wallace Chan. Turning the gemstone creates a 3D effect, with the central head appearing to look in different directions on account of the construction of the precious stone. The pieces are created using a special technique that Chan has termed the Wallace cut. It took him 13 years to develop, and he is the only person using it in the world. The highly labor-intensive process may take a long time, but the end result is more than worth it. Chan's pieces are highly sought after, and have sold for as much as $73.5 million. Bought six years ago at Christie's, these exquisite imperial jades, tiny works, are carved with the eight immortal deities found in Chinese folklore. There are four on each and if you get really close, you'll see the faces are barely the width of a toothpick, says Mr. Chan. It's excellent craftsmanship on a very tiny base. I think they originally decorated calligraphy brushes, but I'm transforming them into earrings. Fourth on the list is the insect collection. Wallace Chan was always inspired by the ability of the insect world. They can fly with small wings and they lift object 100 times bigger than their size. The ant's head and abdomen, are made of two baroque pearls while rubellites, yellow and pink sapphires and diamonds bring sparkle to this extraordinary insect. Clasped in his delicate titanium pincers is a pink tool carved with a leaf design. 
One of the beloved jewel by Wallace Chan is this dragonfly brooch adorned with imperial jade, sapphire, and diamond set on titanium. The subtleness of the dragonfly with its delicate wings is a stunning beauty. It might be fragile from afar, but it is strong, yet light due to its titanium framework. Third on the list is the bracelet collection. The damask silk necklace is made of 154 diamonds, 124 pink tourlines, colored diamonds, pinks, sapphires and white agate. This piece took 12 months to complete due to the number of stone used, but the end result is stunning and elegantly beautiful. Another piece is the Fish's Whisper Bangle by Wallace Chan with yellow diamonds, blue topaz, savorite garnet, sapphires and fancy color diamonds. Due to its multiple color gemstone the bracelet comes to life. Another magnificent jewel made by the hands of Wallace Chan is the Abyssal Bangle Rhythm of a Fantasy. A one of a kind. The jewel is set on titanium adorned with opal, diamonds, rubies, garnet, and pink sapphire. Second on the list is the brooch collection. Sculpted in titanium, the bloom is embellished with a 6.05 CT ruby center and colored gems, a savorite one side and pink sapphires on the other side of each petal, with two emerald and sapphire butterflies dancing around it. The magic of titanium, Chan says, means that even his bigger pieces are very light. Wallace Chan's magical vividity brooch features a rare, albaite tourlin, at its heart, green tourlines on its petals, rubies, diamonds and sapphires. First on the list is the necklace collection. Wallace Chan's music on my mind necklace is befitting of the masterpiece title, wielding rare Burmese rubies, opals, pink sapphires and diamonds. It has lapis lazuli backing the opals to enhance their vibrancy, and blue topaz a trop of the opal to protect it. Wallace Chan chose to marry the intense red of the Burmese rubies with the combined blue of the opals and topaz, because people are excited by the red, and calmed by the blue. The name alludes to the form of the necklace, with the titanium setting oscillating like sound waves in music, or indeed, as Wallace Chan himself described it pulses, like a heartbeat. This necklace is certainly not a piece for the faint of heart. Designed by Chinese jeweler Wallace Chan, a heritage in bloom became the most expensive diamond necklace in the world when it was unveiled in September 2015. Set with an incredible 11,551 diamonds weighing a total of 383.40 carats, the design is inspired by Chinese culture and features symbolic figures such as bats and butterflies. Chan was asked to create the necklace by Hong Kong-based jewelry retailer Zhao Tai Fook, who bought the famous Cullinan Heritage Diamond in 2010. The jewel incorporates 24D color internally flawless diamonds, all cut from the 507.55 carats rough stone, including the 104 carats centerpiece surrounded by jade. The spectacular necklace took more than 47,000 hours to complete and the modular design means that it can be worn in 27 different ways. Thank you for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.